Hello, brothers and sisters. This is a Buddhist discussion. I would like to uh, try in a short um, presentation to discuss the what they call fundamental ignorance, the cause of all suffering. <clears throat> so um, I dedicate this um, discussion to the happiness of all sentient beings and the causes of their happiness and the absence of their suffering and the causes of the absence of their suffering. So fundamental ignorance inside ourselves, our minds as we're just generally thinking or we're um, you know in our daily processes, there could be a central feeling, a feeling of an, an idea that we have that's inside us. We feel like it's in our, in our brain, in our head, also somewhat in our chest. And it's a central idea that we're having that we feel somewhat, let's say, strongly about. Um, wow, my boss shouldn't have done that. Something like this. It could be anything. It could be about work. It could be about family. It could be about death or life or Buddhism or whatever. And it's a central idea. And the fundamental ignorance is this idea that we don't acknowledge how, you know, one way to look at it, the fundamental ignorance is not acknowledging how transient that central idea is, how it developed and will go away, how it had causes, had a dependent origination, and will have a death. It, it's compounded, it comes, it goes. So it has a, it, it's a wafer. It starts, it goes, it ends. It starts, goes, ends. Our lives are like that. Our whole selves are like that. When we realize that, that that a central idea, that life itself is a, is a breath of fresh air, that it's just air in and out, um, and transforming. And of course, there's a conservation of energy, conservation of matter, getting back to science, physics. But, um, but it transforms. So there was a supernova, right, that transformed into our sun and solar system, which transformed into prokaryote, eukaryotic life, which transformed into, you know, multicellular life and so on and so forth to human beings. So all this is in keeping with science, of course. Uh, Einstein, I think, said that, did he? The Dalai Lama said that, Einstein said, that um, if there was one religion that would be in keeping with science, it would be Buddhism. So central idea, grabbing onto it, suffering. But then, ah, it just flew in, it flew out. Or it's going to flow out, right? But it definitely just sort of flew in like air or like the water in a river, and ah, uh, that you know, wife I'm divorcing with, or that you know, problem with your children, or with you know, anything, um, particularly politics, right? The way people relate and, and want power or whatever, that that just flows in and it will flow out. And of course, ways to help us remind ourselves of the transients: we all will die. And don't forget, the Earth is transient. This really helps if you just go to science and understand that the Earth will be gone. And if you look at the um, future expansion of our sun, and there's probably no way that the humans would outrun that, even if they were to leave the Earth entirely and be successful in other planets or other stars, other solar systems, because uh, this solar system is gone. You know, So the idea that we would be successful in another solar system is is possible, but it's so out there, and the idea that it would be anything like us, we would be successful, is totally wrong. And that denies the transience, the transformation that is reality, and that's fundamental ignorance. It's a need, it's a human desire to deny transience, and it has to do with our minds, just the nature of our minds, and I wish you great luck in taking that, because then you get that central idea about whatever, it won't hurt you. Meditate, lotus position, half lotus, I mean, you know, cross-legged, eyes, one body length in front of you, half open, uh, in other words, open but relaxed, and, you know, the teeth uh, closed but not clenched, and the 